have to work hard to look good. Yeah. Wait, are you shaving off your whole beard? No. You'd be dating a 18 year old if I did that. When I met you, you had no facial hair. I was like, oh my God, I'm dating Justin Bieber. That's your fantasy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving this soft beard a kiss. Yo, it's soft, dude. I've been sober for nine years, and I feel like recovery taught me that people do deserve second chances because I had to fight for my own life, and I got a second chance. You want a couple of reckless? Let's go. Trevor and I are living together. We're happy, and I'm in love. I wasn't planning on making breakfast. I got a charcuterie board. Oh, I'll take that. For breakfast? Like I is. want the meats and Jesus. The <laughs> meats and Jesus. Yes. Wait, you did this? Yeah, I did this. Look at you being a housewife. And I'm going to take the trash out. You've outdone yourself. Being in a relationship with him, it's stability for me. It's comforting. It's <laughs> looking into a future and, and seeing something. I would cook seven days a week, but then you introduced me to the world of never eating at home. <laughs> Despite everyone being against my relationship, I've always saw him as my soulmate. Are you a happy girl? Yeah, if I could eat this every day, I would. You want me to make it to go bag for you? I obviously have to work bottle service, so. Mm -hmm. No. But that was very kind of you. I like to be showered with love, respect, and food. I was going to say sex. I mean, sex. I can do that. Nice to meet you, lad. Oshin's my name, mate. Oshin, how's it going? First, yeah, well, first night, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm about to hear it. Republic is the true essence of Southern hospitality. That's why we've been in the business for 10 years. There's a ton of competition in Charleston. Shake it out. Game face. Let's go. But people come to my club because my VIP team will always get the party started. All right, let's go. Middle. Yeah. This is my spot. Huh. What you doing, bud? My shoes get dirty during the shift. Um, I need you in the VIP meeting because I don't have time to relay the information. Okay. Tell me we can't have that baby. No. no, we're not out. I know that. We're all upset about it, too. Yes. Sadly, over the past few years, we got a little loose with our rules. I'm on cloud nine. OK, I got to get to work. I'm happy I work here so I can, like, chill back here and just take a fucking break. It's my fault because I do like to be a friendly boss. If it were up to Lamar, I don't think you would be here right now. Kid, you gotta do better. I am known to give first, second, third, fourth, fifth chances. But they need to remember that they are the hosts of the party, not the guests. So as of this year, we're going back to the handbook. Here are your rules. Show up on time. Respect your managers. Don't drink. I'll take a big one. I have a business for you. And if there's insubordination, you're fired. You're out of here. So in honor of Lucia not being here, oh. we all miss her so much. Boo. She always brought sage. Aww. So in honor of her, let's burn some sage. I miss her, and I'm sad she can't be here. I'm terminated via text message telling me Lucia Peña is no longer employed at Republic Rain. You did drink on the job. We're not supposed to drink on the job. It was just one swig. So you didn't get any warning from Republic at all? No! No! I know! I know! Literally, my first write-up in seven years. Firing a single mother for such a minor offense? What the f***? Doodles. Before I even worked here, you guys know I was like a big patron here. Loved, loved Republic. And Lucia was my favorite bottle service girl when I was here. Right. Maybe we should pass it around. Like food. If Lemon fired every employee that had a shot of alcohol in her establishment on the clock. I feel like with Khalifa right now. She would have fired everybody, probably besides that. Ready? Yeah. On to this girl. 
you want the hard copy for Lucian? I actually hate the smell of these things, but uh, it makes me miss Lucia. Don't yeah. worry, use this. I'll put it out loud. <laughs> All right, guys. OK, we're really booked out tonight. Let's make sure we're on it. Let's just do a good job of pushing the high minimum. I got it. And then Grace and Mia just give them the best first impression of the door. Yeah. Last summer was not my brightest as far as the lady department. Yeah, Joe's an idiot. Very day class say. Telling Maddie I have feelings for her and going after Mia in the same hour, probably not my best move. I like you so much. Of course I do. You know that. Like, I'm not going to hide. Joe, kind of been a pussy about it. You're telling me I still how much one. you liked me. I told one of my best friends how I feel about her, and like I kiss you. Do you not have any name? Life lesson: Do not mix romance and work. Never. Period. <laughs> Luckily, Joe and I were able to move on from his feelings for me and go to a place where we're just friends. I'm done pining over Maddie, and Mia no longer wants to rip my head off, which is, I'll take it. If I can bring him to the bar and TJ have a round of shots for him ready, if that's possible. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, yeah. This year is a new Joe, but she hired him. I'm ready to get back in the game, start dating around. I'm, I'm like twitching, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, one more time. Oshin, this is your first night as a VIP server. Yes, welcome, Oshin. Hey. Hey. Team Money. Oh, Team Money. You're going to be the best bottle boy in town. Fing out. <laughs> <laughs> a little in the house.